Welcome to week three of the course. Last week we talked about ethical leadership and we looked at some of the challenges that face leaders around the world with cases from Barcelona and, and Melbourne. What we saw is that leaders have to deal with various um, competing interests and at times conflict. And they have to mediate those interests in order to find a direction uh, to take the city forward. The same applies when we think about ethical planning. Normally when we're planning our cities, we tend to think 10, 20 years ahead. And um, we generally try to make sure that we can deliver on economic development and the provision of employment. At the same time, we're looking at uh, developing infrastructure, housing and public services. But we have some big challenges that are emerging. For instance, the science is telling us that in order to respond to climate change, our cities are effectively have to be zero carbon by the end of this century. At the same time, we have to deal with the changing nature of employment and some pretty serious social problems like uh, poverty, unemployment, and the lack of affordable housing. All of this is happening at a time of uncertainty and a situation where cities have to compete globally. What this makes us think about is how is it possible to plan our cities ethically in those circumstances.